part of the Mueller report is uh, suggesting that Julian Assange and WikiLeaks played a role in this. Um, that's not what Julian Assange was was just arrested for. He was arrested for um, the leaks that came back in, in 2010 or 2011 about Iraq. Um, but I just would be interested in your take on that. Do you think that WikiLeaks was involved in this Russian plot? I don't know if they were working for Russia. Assange was working for himself. And I have to tell you, you know, him giving the advice to Donald Jr. that you should protest the election if you lose. I mean, he's dealing with the son of a Klansman becoming president, an out-and-out racist who is encouraging, you know, the right wing that's armed to come out and cause mayhem. I mean, those politics are really bad. So, you know, if he has, if he ends up going to trial, we may find out more. I don't think he should on this uh, 2010 charge. Uh, that's a whistleblower thing. He was a publisher. Um, and he should be defended. Um, but his politics in 2010, you know, trying to give advice to Donald Jr. for the campaign, you know, working with Trump, that's that's bad. You know, I don't support that at all. Do I you, would, you know, so that's my, that'd be my criticism of Julian Assange. Now, how much he speaks for the whole WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks organization? Probably does, because one of his defenses was that was on WikiLeaks, uh, not him personally. Uh, but pretty much everybody understands it was him. Um, and whether that was with the Russians, I, that I think is not documented. You know, you know they there's circumstantial evidence. Like, well, where are the WikiLeaks about you know Putin? Um, that's the Panama Papers. <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff came out about Putin and his wealth there. So, um, so I you know that remains to be seen if if he was working with the Russians or being or just biased with them uh, you know we'll, we'll see I'm not sure um, but he should not be prosecuted for publishing the leaks from um, Bradley Manning or what's he call himself Chelsea Chelsea in terms of 2016 though I do have to ask too just because what WikiLeaks released in 2016 was emails showing that the DNC was colluding with the media um, and with state parties and specifically against Bernie Sanders and plotting against Bernie Sanders. Do you think that it is a crime to expose that? No, not for WikiLeaks. The crime was hacking. That's a crime. Um, Assad says he didn't get it from the Russians. Uh, the intelligence community says the Russians did it. Maybe Assange is saying he got it from a cutout. You know, the Russians gave it to somebody who gave it to him. And he's not really lying. You know, I think we'll find out in the end. Uh, but the fact that it got out there, see, that's another part of this whole story. The content of those emails, the fact that the DNC was colluding against Bernie Sanders and rigging their own primary. Big deal. Also, the speeches that Clinton gave. You know, it didn't get enough attention that uh, she said in one speech that I have a public line and a private line. I'm giving you the private line. That's the real deal. But right. i got to tell the public something else. One of the things she was telling the public is she was for a no-fly zone in Syria. But when Lloyd Blankfein asked her at, at a speech, um, that was the chair of Goldman Sachs, what about a no-fly zone? She was saying, oh, man, we can't do that, you know, and start a war with Russia. I mean, she really didn't believe it. Mm. Um, part of the messaging coming from the Russians and others, was she's going to start World War III. But actually, the WikiLeaks showed she probably wasn't over Syria. Um, that kind of analysis really hasn't got out there. And uh, so the content of those uh, WikiLeaks is, are stories in themselves. And with all the thing about, you know, was there collusion or not, obstruction of justice or not, and uh, Trump, uh, it's been buried.